This is a brief discussion on animal cell division for Bio 22 at UP Manila. This lecture will cover introductory concepts on the cell cycle, chromosomes, and cell division, including mitosis and meiosis. Most pictures were taken from Google Images. Let us begin with the cell cycle, which involves a series of growth, rest, and division phases that occur in a cell's lifetime. G1, also known as GAP1 or the primary growth phase, is the period of cell maturation and increase in volume. The S or synthesis phase is the point in which DNA is replicated so that chromosomes transform from unitenic chromatin to bitenic sister chromatids. G2, also known as GAP2 or the secondary growth phase, is the period of further cellular growth including duplication of organelles in preparation for cell division. G1, S, and G2 are subphases of the non-dividing stage of the cell cycle called interphase. Cell division takes place after G2 and involves the division of the cell's nuclear content and the formation of two daughter cells via cytoplasmic division or cytokinesis. Cell division of somatic cells or typical body cells is called mitosis. If the cell cycle was modeled for a gamete, such as a young egg cell or sperm cell, then the section for cell division is known as meiosis. Many cells undergo a period of rest, called gap zero, wherein a cell performs normal metabolic activity or its specific cellular function. This slide shows that from gap 1 to S, chromosomes transform from unitenic chromatin to bitenic sister chromatids. DNA replication in the S phase is crucial for the conservation of the chromosome number, such that the resulting daughter cells are exact copies of the original parent cell, particularly in mitosis. Chromosome behavior is the means in which cell division phases are distinguished from each other. Chromosomes contain DNA and associated proteins and are housed within the cell's nucleus. We've learned in the structural basis of life that DNA is a nucleic acid that is essential in the storage of hereditary information. The hereditary information stored is in the form of nucleotide base sequences that are later interpreted as essential biomolecules such as proteins. This slide shows the structural hierarchy of hereditary material from the chromosome down to its constituent DNA and associated proteins. Chromosomes of different animals, in fact different organisms, differ in number, size, length, and appearance. A unitenic or bitenic chromosome is considered as a single chromosome. After the completion of the S phase of the cell cycle, Replicated DNA in the bitenic form of a chromosome are united at a region called the centromere. The centromere will also contain proteins called kinetochores, where microtubules called spindle fibers attach to orient chromosomes during cell division. The number of chromosomes of different species are always even and symbolized as 2n, referring to a diploid state. This means that chromosomes within an organism have homologs. Homologous chromosomes are a pair of chromosomes that have the same appearance, centromere location, and contain the same genes. Of course, one member of the homologous pair may contain a dominant allele and the other a recessive allele of a gene. We shall discuss these concepts further when we reach our topic on genetics. The cell cycle is controlled by proteins in the cytoplasm. The main cell cycle control proteins in animals are cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases. Cyclins begin to accumulate in the cytoplasm at around the G1 phase and reaches its maximum amount at G2. Cyclins then bind with their specific CDK or cyclin-dependent kinases, forming the mitosis-promoting factor or MPF that facilitates entry into mitosis. CDK levels remain fairly stable in the cytoplasm, but each CDK must bind to its specific cycling in order to be activated. Cycling levels tend to fluctuate within the cell. There are many factors that affect the cell cycle, and the most noteworthy ones are colones, colchicine, antibiotics, and contact inhibition. 
Colones inhibit proteins essential in the entry to mitosis. Colchicin prevents microtubule attachment to chromosome centromeres. Antibiotics prevent cell division of many disease-causing prokaryotes. Contact inhibition is when the contact between two cells causes the cessation of cell division in that specific area. We now proceed to cell division. Cell division is essential for the growth, repair, and defense of multicellular animals. It also becomes the mode of perpetuation of unicellular organisms in the form of asexual reproduction. For more derived or complex animals, the formation of gametes or mature egg and sperm occurs in the form of meiosis. As mentioned earlier, the types of cell division include mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis is described as equational because the chromosome number is conserved and is passed on from parent to offspring. This type of cell division takes place in the cell cycle of somatic or body cells. Meiosis involves reductional division or meiosis 1 and equational division or meiosis 2. In meiosis 1, the chromosome number is reduced to half, that is from 2N or diploid to N or haploid. Meiosis 2 is similar to mitosis wherein the haploid state is conserved and passed on to the resulting daughter cell. There are four subphases of mitosis which are distinguished from each other based on the behavior of chromosomes, the centrioles, and microtubule spindle fibers. In prophase, the centrioles begin to migrate to opposite poles. Recall that the region where centrioles are located is called the centrosome. From the centrosomes arise microtubules called spindle fibers. In actuality, centrosomes are the points in which cytoskeletal microtubules are organized into long threads. Also during prophase, the nuclear membrane begins to disappear and the chromosomes are distinguished in light microscopy as dense structures. At metaphase, the chromosomes are aligned at the center through the aid of spindle fibers. There are three kinds of spindle fibers that emanate from the centrosome. Asters or astral fibers are microtubules that arise away from the area of mitosis. Polar fibers are the ones that connect the centrosomes and sort of push the centrosomes in place. Kinetochore fibers are attached to the kinetochores of chromosome centromeres. Anaphase is recognized by the separation of sister chromatids towards the centrosomes through the shortening of kinetochore microtubules. Cellophase is the point wherein the nuclear membrane starts to reappear and cytoplasmic division through the formation of a cleavage furrow commences. Meiosis also involves prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, except that these subphases occur twice. Meiosis 1 is the reductional division phase where the chromosome number is half. In this slide, the hypothetical cell has a chromosome number of 4 or 2n equals 4 where there are two homologous pairs. By the end of meiosis 1, the daughter cells contain two chromosomes each or n equals 2. This is due to the crossing over of homologous chromosomes so that instead of all chromosomes aligned at the center in metaphase 1, the homologous chromosomes remain side by side. By the time anaphase takes place, it is the homologous pair that is separated, as opposed to sister chromatids of individual chromosomes. Meiosis 2 proceeds as if it were mitosis. To compare between mitosis and meiosis in terms of the events of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, except for the position of chromosomes, similar things happen. Prophase 1 and metaphase 1 of meiosis differ from typical prophase and metaphase of mitosis due to pairing and crossing over of homologous chromosomes. Anaphase of mitosis is marked by the separation of sister chromatids of one chromosome, while anaphase 1 of meiosis is marked by the separation of a homologous pair of chromosomes. It is noteworthy to highlight prophase 1. This slide summarizes the major events of each prophase 1 stage. In depth 
chromosomes condense and start to pair. In zygotine, a protein attachment called the synaptonemal complex forms at a region between a homologous pair. In pachytene, crossing over at the synaptonemal complex occurs. Crossing over is the exchange of DNA material at one section of a homologous pair and this is facilitated by cleaving and attachment enzymes. The completion of crossing over happens at diplopene where the junction or point of crossing over is called the chiasma. Diaphenesis is the end of prophase 1 and is the transition point toward metaphase 1. This slide describes human female egg cell meiosis where all young egg cells stop at prophase 1 during the embryonic stage. Meiosis 1 is completed at the onset of puberty and completion of meiosis 2 at the peak of fertility is ovulation before the first menstruation. For males, the peak of fertility or completion of meiosis 2 is also at puberty, where ejaculates contain mature sperm cells. This section in the module summarizes the differences between the two types of cell division. The period of rest or interkinesis is only observed in meiosis, where the meats do not complete meiosis until puberty stages are its equivalent in other animals. Spermatogenesis is the specific meiotic form of sperm cell formation. This process takes place in the male gonad called the testis. Oogenesis is the specific meiotic form of egg cell formation and happens in the female gonad called the ovary. After meiosis 1, only one potential egg cell is produced as opposed to two. The other cell becomes a polar body and eventually dies. This is because the potential egg cell requires most of the cytoplasmic content of the polar body. The same thing happens after completion of meiosis 2, where only one mature egg is formed and other, another polar body is created. For supplementary information on the testis and ovary, you may refer to the link on the reproductive system video found in the information bar.